Hi, I'm Ben Felder, news reporter with the Oklahoma Gazette, and tonight, Wednesday, May 7th, officials with the Oklahoma Department of Transportation held an open house here at Cox Convention Center to give the public a look at four plan possible plans for a crosstown boulevard here in downtown Oklahoma City. Well, yes, it is Thunder Night. The Thunder are in action with Game 2 of their playoff series with the Clippers, but a decent crowd did turn out for the open house as uh, dozens of members of the public got a chance to look at the proposals. And here are three things that you need to know about tonight's open house and the Crosstown Boulevard. First off, tonight's open house included four alternatives. Now they varied in types of boulevards uh, ranging from a project that was similar to a highway with lots of elevated roadways uh, moving traffic through downtown and this uh, Crosstown Boulevard is replacing the uh, former I-40 that was torn down a couple of years ago. Uh, another alternative included a lot of surface street use. In fact, it looked like the boulevard uh, ended on either side of downtown. Um, officials, based on uh, various scoring metrics, uh, seem to favor alternative C, which is kind of a mixture with some elevated roadways, uh, but also some street level parts of the boulevard as well. Now ODOT has not officially endorsed one of the alternatives. The second thing you need to know is that based on tonight's public comments and additional comments received over the next two months, ODOT will schedule another open house sometime in the next 60 days in which they will offer their suggestion for the boulevard. They will uh, most likely uh, present one of tonight's alternatives and say that this is the project that should be built. The third thing that you need to know is that if this, if this process uh, moves rather smoothly and it hasn't always that the project could be bid out as early as this fall meaning construction could start within the year on uh, one of ODOT's uh, largest uh, and maybe most controversial projects on the Crosstown Boulevard moving through downtown Oklahoma City. We'll continue to check with the Oklahoma Gazette for more coverage of this project and future meetings. For the Oklahoma Gazette, I'm Ben Felder.